Hey, what's up everyone? Danny and Alex. In this second installment of our close guard for NHB, I'm going to show you guys some more attacks you can do from there. So check it out. Alright, so my first attack I want to show you guys. This is a funky move. This is really cool. Watch. When we go for... Usually we'll go wrist control arm like this, all right? This is very common. So from this connection now, when I disturb his balance, look, my arm is controlling here. So all I'm going to do is move my hips so I can isolate his tricep. I don't want him to bring his arm back. And look, this one is going to switch positions, and this one is going to go on top in the figure four to break the wrist, all right? Let's take a look one more time. So from here, we go opposite side to attack the arm bar, just like the regular arm bar setup where I'd be going here, but instead, I'm going to move my hips in this direction, so that way there, I'm blocking with my stomach, I'm blocking that elbow, all right? So from here, I'm putting a little bit of weight with my leg, and look, as I switch the grip, I can go one, connect to his wrist and my own wrist, and look at this, isolate the elbow in order to attack the wrist lock, all right? Good funky move. Building on this, look, we can do the same attack, but switching the grip to the opposite side. Take a look, look, one, two. Now instead of switching the grip, all I'm going to be doing is keeping the same connection. So as I connect it from here, this arm is going to stay exactly where it is. Look, one, and look, right away catch it into a figure four to attack the wrist lock once again. So very quickly, one, two, move your hips, and look, isolate the wrist and the elbow together, and look, very gently, just press on top of his hand to attack the wrist lock. Now we're gonna build on that wrist lock. Once again, I grab the wrist, I move my hips. Once I am in this position here, look, as I can connect, one. A lot of times what happens is, as I press here, my opponent's gonna wanna extend his arm out. As he tries to extend, look, this leg is waiting for it, so I can go back to my regular armbar and attack the elbow instead. All right, so one more time. I'm going to move my hips. As I turn, one, I go for my first attack, which is the wrist lock. As I connect to the wrist, a lot of times the opponent's reaction is going to be to extend the arm. As he extends his arm, look, I'm going to switch back into my regular armbar position. Next up, I want to show you guys, if my opponent tries to pass my guard and he goes for the double unders, a lot of times once my guard is open, he's going double unders from here, and you end up in this position. Now he's trying to pass to the side control. So a lot of people will try to recompose their guard. I'll show you a trick. Watch, bring this leg across, just like in a triangle position to bring this head down. But now look, you're going to use this arm and tap your own leg from the inside. And now look, we'll lock here, and this is a invisible triangle choke using your own arm. So a lot of times people will find themselves trying to wiggle to recover that guard position. Use the weight of your leg to maintain that position. Use this arm and catch your own foot from underneath like this. Look, my own arm is replacing his arm into the regular triangle position. Once I lock it in, boom, that's the pressure, guys. All right, our last technique for this tutorial, guys, watch. Alex is going for that same double under and once again, we looked at one way to attack the neck, but this time I want to show you how you can maintain control by holding his wrist. Now I want to wiggle myself away from him. Well, watch this foot snake its way inside the hip, and look, once I'm in this position, I bring this foot on top of the leg, and watch, arm lock. Very sneaky move. Alex starts to pass underneath. So a lot of people find themselves in this position in jiu-jitsu, but they have no clue what to do. So grab control with your strongest arm, which is your right hand normally, control this wrist, all right? Wiggle your shoulders to the mat, and look, pummel this leg underneath his hip, and bring this one over the head. If you don't control the head, he's gonna escape or roll out of this. So I put a lot of pressure onto his neck, and watch, temporarily, look, push against the pinky, pinky to the ceiling, and that breaks the arm in half. All right, guys, so there you have it. Some closed guard submission attacks you can use for no holes barred. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave us a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. We will see you in the next video. Take care.